Today, it's time to talk about China. Yes, I think so. I'm going to talk about China, um, what's happening with China and the relation with the US and Europe. And you are going to talk about the gainers so far this year on the Chinese stock correct, market, correct. the losers and what you can do with it. Yes, exactly. So stay after my story about uh, more about <laughs> the macro uh, yeah, yeah. It all started <laughs> components. Last weekend, though, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The balloon and the balloon, it was full on the news. And I, um, I have a daughter of 15 years and I said yesterday, uh, she was sitting on the couch next to me. I said, did you know about the balloon just to see uh, if that news also uh, uh, reaches her, yes, yeah, I know, you know, it, 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 they shoot it down, no, she said. So mm. it's quite a big thing, yeah, and yeah, it yeah. is quite a big thing. And why it's a big thing? Because in the beginning, when the balloon was uh, was spotted by the by the U.S., they said the Chinese said, no, it's only for uh, we do some research about uh, the, the stars and, mm. and everything. Yeah, yeah. It flew over five continents, forty countries, and. Um, and it was 450, they had 450 kilo of um, 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 cameras on it. That's a lot. Yeah, and it was it has the size of three buses. So it's quite a big thing. And- um, It is really a big thing if you think about it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the, and there wasn't 18,000 meters high, I think. So I think you couldn't spot it with, the, with, the, with, with your eyes. The US spotted it. They after a few days they shot it down and internally there's this discussion because the republicans said okay why you didn't shoot it earlier because it also flew in those days over alaska and there's a basis of with nuclear weapons but the uh, the biden administration said no because it was too risky to shoot it down over land and also if it if it would land it in cold water there was a higher chance that they couldn't find it anymore. Mm. They found it, they did it, they shoot it down, they found it, and they said, the US said now, they have, they uh, definitely, they have spy uh, material on board. And the manufacturer of that uh, balloon is directly related to the army of the Chinese. On the other hand, you can also say, yeah, of course, it's some kind of material. Uh, the NASA also supplies probably mm. uh, um, material for uh, a certain yeah, other of things uh, uh, that are not related to, uh, to army, et cetera, okay. Um, so, but 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 this is a, a big thing, uh, and why? Because um, the tensions between China and um, the U.S. are really high. Four years there was not a high person from an administration uh, uh, visiting the China, visiting China, mm. and Anthony Blinken or Blinken was planned to go, and that that meeting is cancelled and that's not good for Xi. So internally the Chinese also maybe Xi didn't see that's the, 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 the leader of the uh, Communist Party in the boss of China. Maybe he didn't know about the balloon and if he didn't know then it's an internal crisis. Mm -hmm. If he knew then it's another crisis. And um, he was hoping that um, Blinken uh, came to visit and talk about the tensions. And this is not a good moment that that is cancelled because you have the Ukraine hey, where, where everybody, uh, the US and China are against each other. Um, the, the tension about Taiwan, uh, Huawei, ASML, hey? yes. ASML, they are not allowed to, uh, so. to sell anymore to China. Um, Itself, China is also not going well because for the first time in 40 years, the GDP growth of this year is below the average of the world. Yeah. The real estate sector is is uh, is, yeah, is 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 really really bad. And also, the uh, Kevin McCartney, um, he had planned again after Pelosi to go to Taiwan to to visit Taiwan. Now we all know what happened last time when he visited China. The Chinese were really angry and they start a lot of. Um, tests military tests, tests in that yeah. area. So everybody hoped that Blinken would go first and that he would take the tension out. But now he's not going. And if Kevin McCartney will go, then that, that can be a, a, a really um, yeah, a like dangerous a, situation. Of the situation. Yeah, the Republicans, they also have a commission and they talk about the influence. They want to 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 yeah, they decrease the influence of the Chinese. Mm. So probably the Democrats, uh, Biden will now use this moment to act really strong against the Chinese because they say this is you know this is above our territory and yeah, it's the U.S. consider it as an attack. Yeah, the Americans are really afraid for it always. Mm. They really it's above our territory, and also uh, what did Europe um, Ursula von der Leyen she said. Do I pronounce it? Well? Von der Leyen. Von der Leyen. Yeah. Um, she said 
this week on, on Thursday, Fridays, he said, no, we also have to look at the Chinese government because they give a lot of subsidies to Chinese companies and, uh, and because of that there is not an, 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 an equal level playing field. So they see also follows the US in yeah, increasing, mm. uh, increasing the, uh, the, the measurements against China. Exactly. And on the other hand, China, there is a big project, an internet project. There is a new cable plant to build, and Chinese mobile is, there, for example, is is, is a uh, big uh, part participant in it mm -hmm. between Europe and China. And China said, "Okay, we stop this project for the moment." So I think the balloon itself is also an, 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 a thing, but the tensions there were already really, really high tensions. I think this is is, is really. A bad situation and really a scary situation. I think happening. so too. Yeah. So, yeah. macroeconomic, geopolitical, stock markets. Yeah, if we, if we think about uh, investing in China, you think it's it's nearly impossible, no? But I think it's important for, for people that look at us with, through our platform from Yugo. You can actually trade directly on the you on the. I look at you, but you know that of course, uh, you can trade directly on the Chinese stock market. What I've done is I made it very small. Uh, a comprehensive analysis of what stocks have done it the best in the first month of 2023 on Asian markets. So Hong Kong, Shanghai, Shenzhen and Singapore. I included Singapore. It's not really China, of course, but okay, um, okay, okay. I, 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 there's no companies in here, by the way, that are on those markets anyway. So it's, that's no problem. What I looked at was if they have a buy advice, whether they have a dividend yield that is higher than 3% and a price earning below 10. Now, what company did the best? And also it had a market cap of above 5 billion. So not a small company, because if you take the small company, you also have companies that are 80% or 90% in the first month. So I took like more established, larger businesses. So the C21 Road and Bridge Company, it's, it's uh, infrastructure in China, did it actually the best, 17% in the first month, uh, has a dividend yield of 3.8% and uh, a price earning of 7.3%. And then the next company I think is interesting on itself in the sector in which they maneuver. You can compare it to Exxon, you can compare it to Chevron, you can compare it to Shell. It's Knuk. I hope I pronounced it right. Knuk is like the largest Chinese oil and gas exploration company. They did 13%, um, 6% of dividend and four times the earnings. So really, yeah, if you could consider it just without looking at the name, really interesting stock. Yeah. from a fundamental perspective, right? So far, yeah. Um, China Mobile, um, you mentioned something about the cable that was not, they, they were involved in that. They were also one of the largest risers, the f actually the fourth company in the in this small uh, list. We'll share the list also with you. They have 7% dividend, eight times the earnings. So China Mobile, interesting to see. So you have all, what, what I find funny about this list that companies have done it, well, they're all different, slightly different. You've got an oil company there. You've got different a, sectors. Yeah, different yeah. sectors. You've got a mobile company, yeah. telephone, you got Metallurgical Corporation of China, which is like metals. Yeah. So really different businesses that did different sort of sectors that have done it well, quite diversified. But if you then look at the losers, there you see Bank of Nanjing, Bank of Chengdu, and Chinese Overseas Land and Investment Bank. And today's are those are state-owned banks or partially state-owned banks. So you see, really, there is something going on in the banking sector in China. They've lost on average between eight and five percent. Um, also, of course, here. Uh, uh, important to mention, they have still a buy advice. So these because I selected on companies with a buy advice and the price earnings are low. But what I want to mention is you think that if you do some homework, you start reading about it and you create a vision for yourself and you think, yeah, well, but I think these, these stocks will go down further. You can also go short with it. Be aware that, that you can do with a CFD. And so there's risk involved. It's a contract for the difference. You sell something with the purpose to buy you it back. You know at, what you're at, doing. At yeah, low price. Homework, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, Casper says, you should know what you're doing because it's a bit leverage. Don't overplay yourself. Don't go too big. So that's like the indirect disclaimer that we tell you here. It's a risky product if you don't use it well, but you can, of course, go short also on these instruments. So important, I think um, there's a lot of things happening there. Um, if you still have like Alibaba on New York, based on these tensions, there, there was already uh, tokens last year where he warned you by then nothing happened until now. Change the listing if you still believe in that company too, for instance, uh, the Hong Kong listing, because there you have the direct listing. Um, and why would you stay, for instance, in Asia, often Alibaba? You mentioned it also this morning, we were talking about the subject. Um, you see that uh, Chat uh, GPT is also uh, growing a lot in uh, uh, Baidu, uh, the Chinese Google, Alibaba. They all have their own version of uh, the early bot or the BART, which is Google using. So they also will implement um, 
ChatGPT as as a, a functionality. So it, yeah, you can also benefit from from that, of course, if you want as an investor. Um, I think that's it, Casper. So so um, yeah, yeah. What we want to do, what we try to do every time, is to create awareness. Awareness, yes. I think that's so. So if you think, yeah, what what can I do with this? I'm not. We're not recommending these stocks, obviously. You're not trying to make people uh, uh, scared of that. There's a war coming with, <laughs> but it is facts that that are in the news, and we want to give it to you. Awareness and that have a big influence on the world, the economics, and the stock market. And the stock market, yeah. yeah. So thank you for watching, and. Uh, See you next week, eh? Please give us a thumbs <laughs> up.